Brooke Nichols is here, and she is a Canadian contemporary worship music singer and songwriter. And since her debut album back in 2016, she has been awarded, check this out, 10 Covenant Awards. And she's been nominated for two Juno Awards. And most recently, Brooke has been nominated in the category of Contemporary Christian or Gospel Album of the Year for her latest record, Glory to God. And look, she's here with us in the studio right now. Welcome back, Brooke. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's so great to have you here. And in a few moments, you're going to be singing for us. But mm -hmm. before that, let's talk a little bit how uh, we actually know each other. We do. Yeah, this isn't just a setup for TV. We, we met last summer, and I was speaking at a camp up in Stainer, Ontario. That's right. And you and Steve were, were leading worship, and that was That's such right. a great time. Yes, I remember you blew a shofar, and it was like... The heavens broke open. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, I kind of felt the same way. When you guys started to lead and to sing, it was just such a beautiful atmosphere. You know, even in, in a very, you know, uh, basic camp setup, when you guys just uh, started to lead, and I really felt like you were leading, you weren't entertaining, you, you were worshiping along with us. Thank you. And I remember uh, you had one beautiful little girl at the time, but now you have two beautiful little two. girls, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so when we met, I was seven-ish and a half months pregnant. Yeah. And um, yeah, we had our second little girl. Her name's Emerald, and um, she's four and a half months. So it's time's flying. Amazing, and so much has happened in your life since then. And yeah. so you have this this um, nomination for, for Juno. Mm -hmm. Do you remember where you were and what went through your mind when, when that happened? Well, yeah, okay, so the Junos actually called us and said, can you come to this um, this nomination party? Okay. Now, when I was nominated in 2020, I was not invited to this nomination party. Oh, okay. So it was kind of a bizarre, we're like, oh, why are we invited? But let's go and see what happens. So we packed up the baby and um, <laughs> it was so fun. And then we, we drove downtown Toronto. So we were at this nomination party in the CBC building and there was, you know, tons of people there and um, people in my category as well that I didn't know were going to be nominated or weren't nominated. Oh, okay. And they called my name first and I just like let out a big cheer. And um, yeah, it was a really, really neat moment. Okay. Is it true what they say? Is it, it's an honor just to be nominated? It is. Yeah. I feel like, I, this might sound silly, but even if I don't win and um, mm -hmm. I, I just feel, it feels like a win to me just to be nominated. I just feel really grateful. Yeah, just to be recognized for, for, for the gifting and for the, for the songwriting. That's awesome. That's it, yeah. So, like, when did you realize that, that music was in you? Were you like that kid that was singing around the house? And... I was, yeah. actually, yes. <laughs> yeah. I could see that. My parents always fostered a home of music and of worship. I remember yeah. I was a little girl. Um, I don't know. I remember, like, back in the day when there would be specials. You'd sing a special at your church on a Sunday oh, morning or course. something. Oh, of course, yes, yes. I remember I was just a little girl doing specials with my dad. Oh, and, um, cute. Yeah, I mean, so from a really early age, I've been singing and doing music, yeah. Okay, so I want to talk about your, your new album, Glory to God. Mm -hmm. I mean, I listen to it in the car. I'm not just mm -hmm. saying that because you're here. I really do. And you. just kind of when I need to get centered, you know, and you focus on, on this album, the thing's called Glory to God. So talk about the inspiration behind that album. Yeah, um, I spent a lot of time in the Psalms um, learning who David was. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he was always giving God glory, always giving him thanks, always turning his eyes to Jesus, and no matter what it was, mm -hmm. he was facing. And in the season that I wrote Glory to God, um, I felt like a David. Um, I, mm -hmm. you know, I had so much gratitude in my heart, and the only thing I could do to express my gratitude for who Jesus is in mm -hmm. my life was to sing songs like, are words like, be exalted, Jesus. Oh, mm. majesty, be exalted. Glory to God. Um, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. Like, I had this gratitude of who God was, and I had this longing to be with him. Um, you know, revelations, uh, you know, this, I picture the angels and the saints all around the throne room just singing, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And I just, I long for that day. Mm. And so in the midst of writing this album, there's just this longing to A, be with Jesus and be this uh, immense gratitude for who God was. And so when I wrote these songs, mm -hmm. all at separate times, okay. I noticed uh, a lot of the language kind of, Theme, yeah. yeah. Okay. And I was like, okay, God, like I know you're in this. And so when they all came together, it made the Glory to God album. I mean, it's such a beautiful, you know, concept and thought to always give glory to God, you know, in, in the good times, in the bad times, in the challenging times, mm -hmm. in the easy times. And that's why I say when I, when I need to be centered, I listen to mm -hmm. that album. It just reminds me, it's like, you know what? It's not about you. You're not in control. He 
he is. Yeah. And, you know, I mentioned how uh, I loved being in, in the worship service with you and Steve. And what's it like, you know, leading a worship, you know, uh, event rather than just, you know, performing a song that you wrote? There's, there's got to be a different way to approach that as an artist. Yeah. yeah, there is. You know, one of the things that God has given me is a heart for his people, mm. a heart for the church. And so, when I um, am invited to come and lead at a church or a conference or whatever it may be, um, my heart is for the people. Mm. Yeah, I'm there to worship God, yes, but my heart is for these people, to lead these people mm. into an encounter with the living God, because that's where you know transformation and hope and healing, that's where it's all found, is in the presence of God. And so, yeah, I just, I always go in with just thought, I say, God, like, let me see your people the way you see them so I can lead them well. Yeah. I mean, listen, I know you're, you're a seasoned professional, but what I'll remember about the camp is, you know what, we're all kind of in our jeans, you know, showers aren't as accessible as we want sometimes, <laughs> yeah. and you would just get up there and, and you guys would lead. And I love watching you and Steve minister together. Mm. I mean, how amazing is it that God has put you guys together for, for such a time as this, for this season in your life? Yeah, amen. I think about that often, actually. I just think of what a gift. Um, he is to me since day one, since the moment I met Steve, he's been mm. a gift to me and yeah. continues to be. And he's just like such a beautiful leader of our home and he's a great dad to our girls. And I just, yeah. God I can see it means good. a lot to you. Yeah. I I <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it's awesome. So what, what's next for, for you guys? Where, like, where, where are you heading? What, what's going on? Yeah, we have a big tour coming up. It's called the Glory to God Tour. I'm so excited yeah. to tour this album just to get these songs out and to worship with Canada. We're going to be starting in Ontario and making our way all the way across to BC. Uh, it's going to be a 30-day tour. 30 days yep. with two kids. With two little tiny kids. <laughs> Are you guys ready for it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out, right? I know. So where do people see the schedule? Where can they go? Yeah, they can go to my website, brooknichols.ca, and um, all the cities are listed there, and uh, it's really easy to grab a ticket or just yeah, find out where I'll be. Okay, well, at the end of the show, we're going to invite you to come back on because we just want to pray with you as you go. That yeah. God's will will be done and that mm. he'll be glorified Amen. You know, in everything that's done um, this weekend. We just so appreciate you being here, and I can't wait to hear the song that you're going to sing. Thank you.